Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. A terrific day. Uh, looking out at the markets, uh, we're seeing tremendous opportunities. We have assumed that our clients and friends are following our investment strategy, which realizes that there are far too many problems in the world uh, for them to be solved quickly and easily. And so in the meantime, we might as well profit in the areas that show reasonable profitability prospects. Now, I'm going to be speaking at length about rare earths again, but I did want to make a comment about the so-called double dip. Where was the bounce? I didn't see it. Most people I know didn't see that bounce. So where is the bounce? So where is the double deep dip? You're in a long period of time before the U.S. economy gets structurally better. We've had dislocation for the last decade. In other words, people who had good-paying blue-collar jobs, those jobs are gone. And the consequence, and I'm pardoned, and the reality is they're not likely to be replaced ever. So retraining is our mode, needing public works programs to get employment numbers to a reasonable level. Don't be surprised if the president starts taking executive action to put people back to work. Because that's the key to his re-election. The other key to his re-election, of course, is the Republicans have yet to establish a candidate with the gravitas and skill to contend against him. You can't beat somebody with nobody. Now let's go back to rare earths. We're talking about the heavy rare earths right now and what they're used for. Um, because it's important when you're thinking about a market like rare earths to understand what the products are used for. Yttrium is used for red phosphors in monitors and HDTVs, also used for microwave magnets and lasers. Europium, nuclear controls, red phosphors again, the plastics used in lasers and in various alloys. Gadolinium, CD discs, TVs, microwave magnets, superconductors, intravenous contrast dyes and MRIs, the aging part of our audience, I'm sure you're familiar with gadolinium, if you didn't know you were. Also in alloys, terbium, lasers, solid state devices, green phosphors to stabilize fuels and alloys, diprosium, metallurgy, nuclear controls, alloying special steels, alloying special steels, lasers, infrared radiation, and CDs. So, we're continuing our discussion of the uses of uh, heavy rare earth elements. We'll continue that discussion tomorrow, and then we'll move on to the light ones. The fact of the matter is that we are in the middle of a very difficult economic time. Look to your gold, look to your platinum, look to your rhodium for profit potential, look to your rare earths, watch a rebound, watch for a rebound in uranium prices. Uh, watch as Angela Merkel begins to realize over the next few months that she has made a terrible error and reverses her course. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.